My name is Ron Ishii. I'm a Lexus field product engineer, and we're here discussing the new 2013 ES350, and specifically, we're gonna talk a little bit about the engine and drivetrain of the car. The car is all new. It has a completely new body, new interior, a revised suspension, but the engine is what we call a 2GRFSE engine. It's a 3.5 liter, 268 horsepower V6 engine. It is all aluminum. And one thing I'd like to discuss briefly is something that people don't often realize when they buy a Lexus vehicle like the ES. The engine is considerably overbuilt compared to what you might find from a lot of other manufacturers because Toyota made the decision uh, long ago that our engines would be over-designed so that there is a lot more mechanical reliability and beef, if you will, designed into the engine basic construction. Just for example, this engine is all aluminum, which means the engine block and cylinder heads are aluminum, but the engine block has a main bearing uh, support structure, which supports the crankshaft, which is a device that transfers the power from the pistons into the drivetrain of the vehicle. It's supported by four main bearing caps that have not just four bolts on each cap, but four bolts plus cross bolts. We call them cross bolt uh, main bearings. So each engine main bearing support has six bolts holding it in place. The bearing cap itself is made of steel. The crankshaft that it supports is made of forged steel and it's fully counterweighted. That's another um, component uh, construction that you don't see in many vehicles these days. Uh, now you may ask, why did Toyota do that? Well, the reason we have that construction in our engines is because we made the decision a long time ago that our engines would be way over designed to create better reliability for our customers and create fewer problems as the time goes on when you operate the vehicle. And as a result, they're much stronger, although more expensive to build and more expensive to, uh, to construct, um, the result is a far more reliable engine and that runs a quieter and has fewer mechanical problems. Um, the engine also has a four valve per cylinder cylinder head, which is another thing you rarely see in uh, most other manufacturers' engines. It has two overhead camshafts. It has variable valve timing on each camshaft. The two exhaust camshafts and the two intake camshafts all have variable valve timing. It has a roller rocker arm under each cam lobe that operates each valve, that which reduces internal friction. And the whole mechanism is driven by a chain drive mechanism, which also makes it have lower Mechanical friction, which in, improves engine power and reduces, uh, uh, increases fuel economy. Uh, it's more expensive to construct, but again, it goes back to the design philosophy that we have that make our, makes our engine stronger and more reliable over the long term. Um, it also has a sequential fuel injection system that makes for very, very precise fuel control and which allows this vehicle, uh, being a V6 model, to get uh, over 30 miles per gallon. And for a vehicle this size, a luxury vehicle like the ES350, fuel economy ratings over 30 miles per gallon is, are pretty phenomenal for an engine that has 268 horsepower. Now behind the engine is a six-speed automatic transmission or transaxle that we've also used in many other models over the years. It is a tried and true, highly reliable unit that shifts smoothly and complements the power uh, output and curve of the V6 engine that it's coupled to. Although the car is an ES350, which is our essentially executive sedan model vehicle, the engine has many features that you see in performance cars. In fact, that you don't even see on many high performance cars made by other manufacturers. For example, um, Many manufacturers make their engine blocks out of aluminum, like this one is. However, this engine has a main bearing support structure that uses six bolts to hold and support every main bearing that supports the crankshaft. There are very few manufacturers who have engine designs like that, even in their high performance cars. 
Um, one example that comes to mind at this moment is the uh, Chevrolet Corvette. Their engines use a six bolt main bearing setup, but Corvette started using it somewhere around the 1997, 98 model year. Toyota and Lexus has used that model since, or that type of design from 1994 in our V6 engines. And since 1990 in our V8 engines in the first LS400 model. The other thing that this engine has that is quite unusual for a vehicle of its type is the crankshaft is made of a steel forging and is fully counterweighted. What that means is the crankshaft, which is the main component in the engine that transfers the power, is developed from the pistons into the drivetrain of the vehicle, is made of a steel forging instead of a casting, which is what you see in most other manufacturers' vehicles. Now, we don't talk about it much because it's a standard feature of just about every Toyota engine and Lexus engine. However, it's more expensive to manufacture, the material is more expensive, it's more difficult to machine, um, but we use it in practically every one of the engines we manufacture. That in itself is quite unusual, which speaks to the Toyota design philosophy to over-design our engines, put what many manufacturers would consider high-performance parts in the engine construction with the purpose of producing a highly reliable, very durable engine, as opposed to one that is designed to make super high horsepower. Thank <laughs> you.